So I'm going to try and use this existing bush right here, right next to my water hole. And uh, deer really like to hear their antlers brushing through branches uh, and leaves up above their head. So I'm going to go ahead and hang it from the tree up here. I brought a ladder to get me up there. And I'm going to try and figure out about where this grapevine mock scrape that I have right here is going to hang down through this branch before I think about clearing the area below it where I'm going to put the actual scrape. Uh, another one of these ideas from Jeff Sturgis with the grapevine mock scrapes that he's done. First thing I'm going to do is just make a loop in this rope so that I can wrap it around the tree and back to this loop. It's a real easy way uh, to tie it up on here. Two hands so I can down on my can either. Use a couple of these branches that we have right here to maybe give it a little bit more support. As I come back around itself, I make a loop with the rope underneath. I pull the excess taut, tighten it right down itself right there. Because you never know, you can get a buck come in here and be pretty aggressive and be on this thing. So I want to make sure that doing a good job to get this so a buck's not going to rip it off of here. So again, I'm kind of angling where I want this to be, hanging under this tree, um, putting the bottom of it at about belt line. I'm just going to tie it super loose. Then I'm going to hop down and check and see whether it's about belt line. And looking about belt line, i got to raise it up about a foot. If I do need to adjust the bottom of that a little bit, I can always uh, take my clippers and just clip the very bottom of that grapevine off where it is right there. So it looks pretty good. I need to figure out exactly where the underneath of this is. Break this out here. Get some twigs that I want to get. If I can't, roots and all. Got this cultivator that I bought online. It's pretty slick. Some of these areas underneath some of these scrapes helps to kind of dig up the soil, get some of these roots and grass out of here. Instead of having to bend over, do it with a shovel every time. Got to keep working back and forth on this to get these roots and stuff out of here. Thing is nice that cultivator loosens it right up so you can get these big mounds of grass out pretty easy oh yeah that's a big root that'll be fun to get out so it's time be nice to have two people in here working that one side of it and throwing this other side these back quickly probably changes direction on me Probably goes deeper. Okay, Let's see if these clippers can get around it. Okay, that's out of there. They wouldn't have wanted to dig around that. So I'm going to go ahead now and loosen the soil up a bit with a pick. Make sure that all the big roots are out. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Ted Miller. He sometimes does some cameos for the hunting public. And this guy is so low key, so knowledgeable. Man, he bangs out big deer every year. He's got some great ideas, just like Jeff Sturgis does. And uh, one of the ones I saw him talk about uh, last year was mixing some sand in with this to keep this nice and pliable um, so it's easy for the deer to work. So 
we got about a third of a bag of sand that I'm going to go ahead and mix in here in a second uh, once I get the remainder of these roots out. Thank you, Ted Miller. Great ideas. It's one nice thing about the hunting community is I have found it to be on YouTube now for almost two years that people are so willing to share hunting information and definitely helps all of us to be better hunters out in the woods, that's for sure. Like I said, this cultivator is great, man. Mixes this soil right up, loosens it up, gets all the roots out from underneath it. Bring some old soil back in over top. This mock scrape. Give you guys a little bit better idea what I have going on here. There's this branch that I have here for a licking branch. You can see that I've got that grapevine right there that's tied on a string up here. I've got this scrape that I just made that I'm going to pee on before I leave. And there's my water hole. There's a camera. And there's my tree stand. Done, baby.